I'm going to do a particle counter test on the uh, do-it-yourself box fan and furnace filter combination. Uh, I've seen lots of these on YouTube and I just had to make one for myself to see how well they work. Uh, it's just a simple 20 inch box fan with a, a furnace filter taped to the back. This filter is made by 3M. It's kind of a mid-level uh, filter. I think the rating was 1000 on it and it goes up to like 2800 or something. I'm not sure what the MERV rating is but kind of a mid-level one. Um, and I just simply taped it to the back so air is going to be pulled in to the fan and out the front. We're going to do a particle counter test to see how uh, effective it is. In a small bedroom, maybe 12 by 10 bedroom and it's reasonably clean so there's not too much uh, dust to be stirred up when I turn it on. So we'll get the particle counter test underway. Okay, the particle counter I'm using is a DC-1700 made by Dylos. 0.5 microns on the left, 2.5 on the right. And I'll be hooking this up to my uh, logger software. Uh, Dylos logger software 1.6. Hooks up to the computer via a USB to COM adapter here. Uh, these don't come with these uh, these counters. You have to get them separately. I got this for like $7 on eBay. It's a COM port, uh, I think DB9 to to USB adapter, just goes like that. Get them on eBay. They're really cheap and it comes with a driver or a disc for Windows 8. So I'll just basically plug it into the side and we'll get going. Okay, we're getting a baseline reading in my bedroom of what the particle counts are. That is a DC 1700 hooked up to my computer. Uh, that number on the on the left two is um, on the left is 0.5 microns, on the right 2.5 microns. To get cubic feet, add two zeros to the number. And here is the, uh, the logger software. And this, the software works pretty good. Up here in the top corner, uh, it says 1712. Uh, that gives you uh, an average of the last minute. Every minute it updates that because the actual counter is jumping around a little bit, usually within about 10%. So this will average out your, your, uh, your minute and it plots it on the graph here for us. Right now, over the last, we started at uh, 0046, we're at 53, so the average has been, um, well, just uh, under 180,000 particles per cubic foot at 0.5 microns. So if we get baseline to start here, it's recording the software right now. And what we're going to do is we're going to turn on this box fan. Um, I like 30 minute tests. I don't see any, any air cleaner should be able to clean the air to its full potential within 30 minutes. If it takes longer than that, I think then it's uh, not, not very effective. And we're going to turn this on full power and we're going to see what happens. I've been using this filter for a little over six weeks now. It seems to be getting a little bit dirty on the back. Uh, it's a 3M furnace filter. Um, so the filter is pulling air through. Some of the air is actually back pulling through the corners because the, filter, the fan's round and this is square. So what's happening is some of the air through the corners is actually going to be sucked in right here and you can take some tissue paper and I can prove that it will actually get sucked in the corners and then get sucked right back out. That's why you're going to see the fan kind of uh, get dirty more in the center. So we're going to leave this thing going and uh, we're going to see how well it cleans the air in this bedroom. There's the logger software going. Basically we started the fan at uh, we'll say uh, 0054. There's a clock up there. Basically about 5 to 1 in the morning. We started this test and we're going to see where it goes. We'll check back in every 5 minutes or so. Right now we're signing off with about 160,000 parts per cubic foot. Okay, it's been about 8 minutes or so and our counts went from about 170,000. We are down to about uh, 60,000 on the 0.5 and larger. And here's the graph for 2.5. Our minutes average is down to 468. It's hard to see. And it looks like about 14 for the uh, 2.5 micron particles. 
our counter. And then we'll check back in in a bit. Okay, we've been going about 25 minutes. Uh, the time is now 20. 121. We started at just before 5 to 5 to 1. Uh, here's my uh, my graph here, showing our results. We are down to. Take a look here. Uh, 120. We were at 6,700 parts per cubic foot, 0.5, and 100 parts per cubic foot at 2.5. So on the meter, it would say 67. On this side and on the right hand side it would have said only one. So here's our graph showing when we turned it on. You can see clearly when we turn this uh we turn the box fan on clearly you can see right here. Oh it's steeply coming down. This thing's working really good so far. This is viewing the last thirty minutes. We can change how we view this. And the last twenty minutes. To 30. So we've went basically from 177,000 particles per cubic foot and 177,000 down to 6,100 in about 28 minutes. And we'll check if it's plateauing yet. That's when we'll stop this test when it starts to plateau. You can see this is the graph that lasts 10 minutes. Ten minutes ago, we were at uh, looks like 140,000, and now we're down to about 6,000. So it's still going down. So we'll keep uh, keep watching. The minute average is 61 on the actual counter. This is my counter. We'll check back in in a bit. As soon as it plateaus, we'll stop the little experiment. So far, this thing is uh, working though. Okay, we've been running this box fan in this bedroom for about an hour now. Okay, so the box fan with the furnace filter, we're going to check our results. Uh, here's the particle counter readings. Quite a bit lower. We started out about uh, 1,700 on the left and about 75 on the right, so it's significantly lower. Let's take a look at our data here. And we'll set it to uh, a one hour time frame here. We started out about an hour ago at 180,000 parts per cubic foot. Turned on the uh, box fan with the filter and look at how fast it went down. That's a two hour view. We're going to go to one hour view. There we go. 140,000 an hour ago. Here's a 30 minute view. You can see how it uh, came, came down quite a bit in the last 30 minutes even. Down to 2,000. Here is 20 minute view. 20 minutes ago. 2,500 down to 2,000 is starting to plateau here. Here's the last 10 minutes so it's plateauing. You can see by this graph when we plateaued. Um, here's the time. So we started at uh, about five to one. About so we see it plateaued at the uh, around here. So about 45 minutes it plateaued. Here's the last hour. So the 45 minute mark it plateaued basically. So quite impressive actually. Box fan has brought the uh, particle counts down about approximately 99%. Quite amazing, actually. And in the software, we can uh, take a look here at the numbers. You can see where we started at, uh, when did we start at 53? Yeah, 171,500. No, you can see that on the video. 171,500 and 7,500 uh, for the 2.5. Then right now, 
down to uh, 2100 So down from 177,000 to 2100 at 0.5 microns. 2.5 microns, we are down from 7,500 down to 100 parts per cubic foot. So this little uh, box fan filter is working really good. Put this back up here. And here's our graph to show the performance of it. And the reason why this is working so good too is I keep my place pretty clean. I change my bedding uh, often. So, and I vacuum everything uh, quite regularly. So, so if you had done the same experiment and your bedding was really, you never washed it, there was lots of mites and dust mite particles, and you never did any dusting, then your results wouldn't be as good. Box fan with a furnace filter idea works pretty good. I don't know how it would work for uh, for less than 0.3 microns. I imagine not as good. Uh, definitely it wouldn't uh, perform the IQ air for smaller particles, but for things like pollen and stuff like that, it would, should have no problem capturing. Cannot afford uh, an expensive IQ air or even a Honeywell unit, then this is a good alternative, I think. Just make sure you put the uh, the uh, HEPA filter, and these actually aren't HEPA filters, they're furnace filters. They fell short of HEPA standards, so you can't really call them a HEPA. Just tape it on the back. You want air pulling through. And that's pretty much all there is to it. And when, you're, when you are changing this uh, filter, take the tape off. You want to take the whole thing outside to change it. Because uh, if you bump this thing or knock it over, you're going to release quite a bit of dirt. So make sure you don't touch the back of it. Take it outside to change it. And uh, uh, use it and uh, I hope it helps.